So uh, I got a lot of these uh, fake CNN alerts and now let me show you how uh, I will sample the files, the malicious files they are hosting. So here we have the URL. I copy the URL and I move to a shell account where I will use uh, several tools to uh, retrieve uh, the malware. First, let's make a working directory. And we move into the directory. Let's save uh, the URL. One of the commands uh, I use is uh, double get IE. It's uh, a simple double get command with the user agent string for uh, Internet Explorer 6 on uh, Windows XP. So uh, let's get this file. I will capture a lot of debug output from uh, wget. And now the URL. Let's go. Okay. That's caps lock. Okay, ls. And we got our file. Now let's first take a look at the log. Okay, we got a 200 code. And we got some data. Now let's rename that. It's malicious, so make it clear with the dot vir extension. Okay. Have a look at the file. It's a script, no surprise. So now I use my tool, Extract Scripts, to uh, extract the script from the HTML file we downloaded. Okay, script one. Let's rename that. Oops. And have a look. Okay, now we will execute that script with my spider monkey that I have modified. And we get an error. It's using window which is not defined. So let's just make a quick edit. Zero four. Come on. Yep. Here is window. Let's replace it with an empty string. Run the command again. Okay, and now we have our output. Again, let's rename it. And let's also rename the Unicode output. Let's have a look. So this is uh, the result of the document write commands, which is uh, generating our HTML code. Let's have a look. ActiveX. Okay. And here we have the exe. So let's build uh, a new URL and uh, retrieve that. Okay. 
Okay. So we take the domain and add the file name. And save that URL. And now second use of W get IE debug output logging and our input URL okay we've got a file let's take a look at the log first 200 code and we downloaded some bytes okay Rename the file. And now let's check that file with the PE file. And let's save the output. Hmm, it's slow today. Okay. And finally, let's have a look at that file. It's at a very high entropy, so uh, it's probably a packed executable. Here you see the code. Let's move on. Here, yeah, some warning that we are dealing with a packed executable. There is the rest of all the info PE file is extracting uh, from that uh, executable. PE ID didn't identify any packer. Okay, let's have a look at the MD5 hash and submit that to virus total virus total do a hash search enter the hash prove that I'm a human okay and indeed it's a virus. 50% coverage at the time that the file was submitted for the first time. 